Hi friends, it's Carol from Crinkled Path Journals and I'm back with a flip through of my completed pages for my giraffe journal that I have been doing with Meg at Chasing Retro. And we have been using the hashtag tall order journals with Meg and Carol. And so if you wanna see the previous videos, just use that hashtag. I have not bound my book. And so I will be doing another flip through with no talking just of the finished and completed book once I get it bound. I had some delays this week. We had a family wedding, close friends of ours, and my husband officiated, and we had such a wonderful time with them, but it was a destination wedding, so we had some travel. We just put other things out of our mind and fully focused on family and these dear, dear friends of ours. And so you're going to see the pages today and then the full flip through when I get it bound, which hopefully will happen this weekend. Please go over and check out Meg's two journals that she made. And then she has a third journal she made for herself. And I believe she's doing kind of like this in that she will be flipping through that at a later time. Her video went out on time today. <laughs> I say better late than never. I'm happy that you are here watching. If you're new to my channel, I love journaling, memory keeping, and this is a giraffe journal for my hubby and the family to just enjoy because we love giraffes and he is Jeffrey the giraffe, like the Toys R Us giraffe. <laughs> Means that's how he spells it. Just hang around and we'll get going. I think this is gonna end up being a three inch spine. I wanted to go for two and a half, but I think because I put so much ephemera in here, as well as the pages, I think I'm gonna be better off going with three inches. And here is where the spine will be when you see it next. <laughs> And I wanna make sure that my giraffe up here is staying on screen. So this is my book cover. I may go ahead and put some lace across the bottom here. I just got some from Gigi that is really pretty and I did use it in another place here. This is all seven signatures. And just bundled them up here. So I have the legendary Jeffrey here, his story on the front. And yes, this is how he spells his name. I tell you all about it in the very first video. And I just really enjoyed using some of this book, which is all about how Jeffrey the giraffe came to be the mascot at Toys R Us. And then I used all kinds of other giraffe ephemera as well, like this wallpaper cutout that I did with a stencil. This is vintage wrapping paper. These are children's book pages. And I did some Franken page <laughs> stitching together. I love the interaction, the flipped outs, that kind of thing. Sewed this page to this little flip out and that will be further on in the book. I have this vintage postcard from Phoenix Zoo with a letter from a lady to her son. This was from a work basket and this is just a paint chip. This is the spine of the original book cover. This was from a book cover the book jacket actually and then i put it on some chipboard and made a belly band out of it this is something i just hauled in a grabby affiliation video which will be coming up shortly i have tucked this little fact about giraffes inside And then on the back, I did a little stenciling and added this picture and just a whale tail at the top. Yeah, so if you were wondering, this is the chatty longer flip through. <laughs> 
So you can speed me up. I will sound like a chipmunk, but just hit that uh, wheel in the top right corner and you can set the speed however fast you want to hear me go through this. And thank you in advance for hanging out with me today. This was children's book page. I clipped these tags with the very important giraffe because my friend Sierra at Cooley Craft Corner sent me these handmade tags and she made some for Meg as well and they are so, so cute. And so I just tucked them here with that so that I wouldn't forget to tell you about them. And then I think this is actually gonna probably sit as high as it can in the signature so that our little giraffe can stick out. It's a pocket on this side and I have this tag that I made with a giraffe in the back and this quilt block from the quilt show game. This card is a playing card from the quilt show game and I just backed it with some plain cardstock so that it could be a journaling spot and then it's blank on the back side. There's the pocket. On this side, I have my little page corner giraffe that I made in the first video and a fabric flip. And then this is the card from Sierra that she sent these tags with. And I put this coloring page giraffe back there. And there's a piece of cardstock at the top here with this really pretty trim. And that's an up tuck behind the fabric flip. On the back, I have this 3D, his head moves up and down, water drinking giraffe. This is part of where I sewed this image to the shorter page. <laughs> this one was a children's book image uh, backed with cardstock. And then this is one of the 70s animal collection cards that you would get in the mail. It's from 1975. Made a little pocket for that. I use some natural paper with some petals and leaves in it. Put this little guy inside of there. And then this is a double flip because I also use some of Celeste from Woodland Inspired dot matrix paper that I purchased from her Etsy. And it is green and kind of a peachy orange. So it goes well in here. And then those last two pages are more of the Jeffrey Giraffe book. <laughs> this is him finding his home in the Toys R Us for good. That's our first signature. Our second signature has this vintage wallpaper. This is the same one that I used the stencil to make the giraffe in that first signature. Inside, I drew some reticulated giraffe pattern and then I used gelatos to ink it both a dark chocolate brown and a goldenrod and then I used a makeup brush to kind of blend it a little. The gelatos do pretty well if you get them wet they don't tend to smear too much but this is a very rough texture on the back of this wallpaper and so I am noticing that there is a little bit of transfer probably because it's on those raised surfaces but it's okay I think it's just going to add texture and color to these this other page and that's just fine this is another children's book page it has this little flip out I have a lesson uh, from, I believe it was a devotional, and I think the, the next page of it is in another place on the book, about giraffes. We have this very, very old picture of Adam naming the creatures at creation, and this was from Sandy Wilhelmina. Uh, I got lots of things from friends in happy mail and so i'm very sorry if i miss anybody 
in the flipping through. I would love to remember all of you. These pages came out of this book that I got from Judy Hurst. I made the cover into a writing board that I will tuck into the back cover of the journal. And then I just loved these two pictures. So I tuck them into this pocket here. This is vintage baby wrap with these little stuffed, very long leg giraffes. Their necks aren't even that long, but their legs are very long. Super cute, like 60s paper. This is just a real simple page. I did leave some blank spaces like this where I might be able to add pictures as I find them. I did get two pictures printed out, which I'll show you, but our printer needs ink, and so they're not a great color, so I just kind of tacked them in. I'll show you those in a minute. This was from a coloring book. It was the cover, and I love this 60s giraffe image, and I'm not sure yet. I don't know. I tend to put pictures on the centerfold facing so that they're going the way I'm looking as I'm starting to flip through the book. So that'll probably go that way. I did some embossed trim with cardstock on the end. This is more of that creation photo. This is the zipper package giraffe that I made in the first video. Oh, and I have to tell you, so giraffes have really been on my brain, and we went to this wedding, and we stayed at the venue. It's a old boarding house that is now made into a lodge. They have a wedding area outdoors, both in the backyard of this place and about a mile down the road, with this gorgeous overlook of a canyon that's out behind it. It's in Forest Hill, California. Every room is decorated differently, and we got the key to our room, and I went up, and I opened the door, and the whole room was African themed and there were giraffes everywhere. There was a giraffe mask in the bathroom. There were two statue giraffes on the floor. There was giraffe print lampshades. There was giraffe art on the wall. <laughs> just laughed. I love those kind of coincidences. I think God has a sense of humor and that he kind of shares it with me in that kind of a way because I just found that absolutely hilarious. It was the only African themed room in the whole place. They had a lot of cabin theme and camping and lake themes and I just laughed that we we got the giraffe room. <laughs> All right, more children's book page. I love these the little stitched giraffe. They're stuffed animals trying to catch the train. This is cardstock a picture from a book I use at the end of this. And this is a doily from our Africa room. They had chocolates on a little heart plate on a black African print platter. And then they had a doily in the middle with the, the heart plate sitting on it. That is our second signature. This is the actual pages from the book that I have as the cover. And there throughout and it was a computer printed custom book with the child's name their address or their street name anyway and their pets names and things and so I used some of the pages as they were and then I covered some of the information pre-drawing drawing, drawing. <laughs> it got tucked into one of those little frames that I got in happy mail as well we have some pretty chunky tags in here, which is partially why it's gotten so thick. I made this belly band kind of slide for holding this tag. It's got some information about the giraffes inside, plus a card. Plenty of room for journaling. I'm not sure if I will journal extensively in this one, but I did leave myself room in case I decided to use it down the road for something else. Uh, who knows, maybe we'll go to Africa. We have a bonus daughter living in Uganda who we have helped to get through elementary school through college and we're in communication with her. And so we don't know, but it would be nice to actually get to go and meet her in person someday. All right, I have this cute little tab. They're very tight, so I'm not going to take it off and put it back on, but I did clip in this little tag that I used another children's book image, some snippets of lace, and then twine at the top. 
and I believe it yeah it has a little tiny image of her on the back I think I might have shown that in the last video actually I love the pink and gold and orange <laughs> so 60s and 70s and we have some more giraffe images uh, I made this little tag from the book that Judy just sent me she had sent this one actually quite a while ago and then this one just came recently after the Christmas in July swap so thank you Judy and thank you to all of you who have <laughs> encouraged me to do this when I started talking about Meg's uh, and I had been sending giraffes to Meg and then people started sending giraffes to me and I was like, oh, you know what? I really should probably do this. So thank you to everyone who encouraged me and sent me ephemera. This is my drawing from, I think it was fifth or sixth grade <laughs> and it's pastel and I just made it the centerfold. And since they're going both directions, I don't know, I think I'll probably leave him that way. This was a bag from San Diego Zoo. I did some stamping. I have some old 1970s classroom stamps on wood blocks and I dug out my animal set and what do you know, they still work. They're in great shape. I may add something here down the road, not sure. Here is a poem book picture about giraffes eating pizza. <laughs> My husband loves pizza. This is the inside cover of Giraffes Can't Dance, which I use a lot more of that book as we get further back. There's another page from the book Judy sent me. There's a flip out here. Aren't they so cute? And this is the scarf that the little hedgehog knitted and knitted and knitted and knitted to make long enough for the giraffe's neck see knit knitted <laughs> um, so that's really cute okay that is our third signature so here's our fourth uh, this one I made a tag with distress inks and a stencil and I kind of did gradated blue green yellow and the yellow came out because the background color it's kind of a peachy color I loved it and it matched this other little frame which i think these were from judy as well <laughs> i used the wallpaper as the cover on this one and backed it with cardstock here's one of the other tags that i sewed it has a little peekaboo frame right here the vintage card that somebody sent me and i'm sorry that i don't remember who sent me that one speak up if you know Oh, and um, that book with the an stuffed animals with the train, that was from Sierra a while back. More of the quilt show card game cards, and I made some really simple little tags to go in there. Oops. With a sticker on it. It's a very snug belly band. <laughs> Okay, I think I need some glue on that sticker. A lot of my stickers are very old. This one was in my sticker saver from 1980s and I pulled it out and it's discolored because like the paper has started breaking down on the back. But he's in here with archival glue now and hopefully he's not going anywhere. These are some Mrs. Grossman animals that I stuck on there, little stickers. I loved that I got to use all these vintage fabrics that I got at an estate sale last, let's see, that was fall, I think. Okay, we have giraffe nature book pages. This is the back of that devotional. This is one that Sandy sent me. It's kind of like a I Spy because it, they're very intricate pictures. And this is the page with the giraffes. And this one is all birds and like exotic animals. Uh, here we just have some cardstock. I made a little pocket with some paint chips and put another giraffe 
card in there. A lot of my cards are ones that my friend who's a speech therapist cleaned out their closet because they don't tend to just do flashcard drills anymore. She gave me a lot from the 1970s. This is a calendar page with a mama and baby giraffe on it. Back side of this, again, this might be another place I get some pictures or if I find more giraffes, you know, I'm, I'll have room to add a few more in. Uh, this is that same children's book as the mama giraffe we saw earlier. I love the colors in this. Again, it was from the 60s and 70s. This trick rack that I bought from Sarah, New England Junk Journals, and I have saved some to do a tassel as well, along with some other rick racks. This is a page from the computer generated personal book, a tag from <laughs> the Giraffes Can't Dance book tucked in there. This little guy was from this book. I have this from a work basket. Somebody sent me that. Another quilt show card. I just love this fabric. And then I made this belly band out of tickets. And I love the gazelles or ibex or whatever is down here. And there's another black and white draft image. And this is from a little golden book, alphabet book. This back page is loaded. <laughs> so I have a pocket here with some journaling paper in it. I think this was from a travel journal and there were several different images like this of different animals or different destination typical scenes. These were the only two giraffe pages so I pulled them out. And then these were from a baby collection of cardstock that came in a pack. And I loved that it had the giraffe and this kind of retro, it might even be 50s kind of image of that design. And then all the animal buddies on this one. And I just tucked those in this envelope. And they kind of sturdy up the envelope a little bit because on the front of this envelope, I put this valentine that's interactive and i glued around the bottom of it so that it's a pocket and then i slipped in this cute little book page it's got the giraffe on this side and the mama and baby elephant on the other this page has a lot going on <laughs> then i have this pocket with the mama and baby giraffe and this is from giraffes of the savannah book and then Therese sent me this paper and a bunch of different kinds of ribbon and so I incorporated those in and you'll see that video coming up soon. The happy mail from her and I won a contest from Gigi Hannah. I incorporated some of the things Gigi sent me too. So the paper and the ribbon were from Therese and so was this sticker. This leaf. I love that Okay, so that's, it's a very tiny picture, but my husband and his two brothers on top of their, this is what I was saying, our printer is not working, on top of their Toyota Land Cruiser that they had when they lived in Africa, this is a giraffe that they actually saw in the game park and had taken a picture of, but you can see how it looks faded. I might try and make them a little bigger. They're just tacked on here with some glue stick. Yes, the leaf came from Gigi in a little extras pack. There's the end of that fourth signature. More wallpaper here. And I left this as a belly band and this as a pocket just in case I wanted to put something long in there. More of that computer generated custom book. This came from Gigi, the, the lace. More of the draft paper from Doris. So this is some of the trim that Doris gave me and I just put this giraffe inside. And then this is a tab I bought from Celeste at Woodland Inspired. And I do love the way the green and the yellow go together. I'm not super matchy matchy, but a little bit of that coming through is fun. 
This is the 1901 paper Sandy sent me. Some more of the vintage paper she sent me. Probably antique paper she sent me. This was my version of chroma collage. <laughs> Angela does this on the Traveling Crafter. Only this one is done with both drawn images instead of a photograph. Because usually there's a photograph in one part of the image. There's this funny cartoon. And then I made a pocket here with some of the fabric and the trim that Jerry sent me. And I put a fold over tag in there. So I put the side where the tag is, images are actually right side up, facing this side. Uh, this is a, this is a scrapbook paper pocket and I just put a book page in there showing a person, a horse, and a giraffe for comparison. It's a little difficult to get in and out because it is a little bit flimsy page. Uh, let's see, here is the centerfold with Gerald, the giraffe, giraffes can't dance. I did some of the Sharpie paint pen here and added some more stars, made this flip out. You may have seen this in one of my other videos that I was doing regarding making this journal. Uh, I also used the paint pin in the center because I had taped it together with washi tape and you could see the dark colored washi tape between. And so I just used the paint pins to kind of camouflage that a little bit. And this guy, his horns and ears stick out over the top of the book, which I think is kind of fun. This side just has some butterfly card stuck on it and another one of the speech cards. More of this giraffe print. This is the bottom to a watercolor image. I think I showed this on one of the videos previously, but this is a Project Life card that I put a couple wallpaper giraffes on and it just should come in and out of there. But I think when I glued the pocket, I think I'm going to have to get something to loosen that up because this is supposed to slip in and out. I tend to get impatient, stick the card in, and then if it catches any of the glue, <laughs> we've got to do a little surgery to get it out. There's that watercolor image. <laughs> it's very pretty. And then here is a photograph, and I just mounted it on some scrapbooking calendar page and put photo corners. This was a little book image from a poetry book. A jolly giraffe from Quebec went, went to sea and lay down on the deck. The boat was so small, he had no rest at all. So long, 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 long was his neck. <laughs> And then I made this tag out of these game pieces that had these dots. <laughs> and so we have a long, 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 long neck. <laughs> and then this was a game piece. Sorry, I'm completely lost in a fog there. I, kn I know this just came in happy, happy Mail very recently. I think it might have been Hazel. More of the computer generated book. And then on the back, also, the back side of that computer generated book page, we have another image from Drafts Can't Dance, and I just backed it with some of the end paper from the Jeffrey book. Tucks in there. This is end paper from Drafts Can't Dance. This is the draft paper that Dree sent me, and then I just stuck an envelope in. Something could be stuck in there, something could be written on it, and it just was the perfect size and color to complement the turquoise and green going on here. It's just a slightly lighter shade. <laughs> I need to decide what I'm doing here. I may just take another piece of cardstock to kind of bolster up that back sheet of the wallpaper. That was signature number five. I'm just gonna scooch these over a little bit more. More of the vintage wallpaper. Some of my twine trim, I love this one with the leaves. And then I just 
put this onto orange cardstock because it was very, very lightweight, flimsy. Here's one of Angela's chroma collage that she made for me. Then we have this giraffe card. This is some of the very old fragile paper that Sandy sent me. And this is that teacher song flip cards that I showed in the second video, I think. And I just added some things, but isn't she the cutest little giraffe? And then I did a business envelope over the page and this side flips, it has some black and white giraffe images. This side has a pocket here, nothing in it yet. And then I took this book page from an alphabet book and I made a tag, added a tassel, added a couple more black and white images and just tucked that in that belly band. Kind of have to lift it a little to get the pom-pom in there. <laughs> And you're wondering why this book is so chunky. It's because it's got lots of three-dimensional things in it. Okay, you saw this one if you watched the last video. I have a hidden paper clip. This is the back side of that. Center spread, Gerald from Giraffes Can't Dance. Uh, we did a belly band on the back with another one of the envelopes from Grabby. It's got some distress oxides stenciled on it and then there's our cute little sleeping giraffe oh yeah there is something in this one i think there was something in the yellow one i just forgot to show you this one has a g alphabet card in it i think i might need to make this belly band a little tighter this is a little golden book page this is the giraffe neck little tag pockets that I did on camera last video. And I just took the envelope that Celeste had sent her tags in. It gets cut out and then pulled up and it's a loop for hanging. Uh, I just folded it back down and then put one of the tabs over the top so that it would fit in this as a belly band. And I included a couple giraffe cards. This one's a postcard. This is a kid's flash card. I just tucked it behind. I know I had thought about some other ideas, but that's the one that stuck. And then I put this trim on the back of the neck and I think it's really cute there. Here's the back side of the very fragile paper. This is a tag that Angela had made for me in Happy Mail and I added the giraffe and then some little bits of fabric to the collage she had already done with some napkin and gesso and lace and foil, metallic foil, it's kind of copper. I don't know if that was a stamp or part of the napkin. We just added a couple more layers, have her signature little tassel at the top and that's just scooted right into that pocket. Yes, everything's loosey-goosey. I have a pocket here with more of Doris's paper. I haven't put anything in that one. This is a vintage or antique Noah's Ark poetry book. Here's the giraffe poem. That was kind of funny. This it, was sent in happy mail. It's it, an artist trading card, but it was not done by the person who sent it. And sorry, again, I'm so many fun things have been sent to me. I can't exactly remember. That might have been Hazel, too. Not 100% sure. Or Sandy. All right. This is a book page from the Toys Trying to Find the Train that Sierra had sent me. More wallpaper. This is from the poetry book where the giraffes eating pizza came from. And <laughs> you can see that the giraffe pattern is like pizza and pumpkin and turkey and swiss cheese <laughs> i think that's fun and i left it as a tuck but i haven't got anything in there yet this is from an old art book it looks like art medium and water have gotten on it and it's been well loved this is 
more of the custom book page and I just added another image over the dedication page. Put some wallpaper signs on the back. Backed it with cardstock so it would be nice and sturdy for sticking in there as a belly band. This is a little golden book, thumbprint book. More of the Giraffes Can't Dance. And a lot of these images here are from Giraffes Can't Dance. And there's his famous last words. <laughs> here we have a very small page that these two little pages are wrapped around this bigger one. Here's my peekaboo giraffe in the frame. I kind of had to put him in there not centered so that his eyes would be through a crack. I ended up... <laughs> putting a giraffe on this initial cor book corner tab that I had made. And then here is just a coin envelope and it has a giraffe flashcard in it as well. And that just kind of sits there. More of historical papers that Sandy had sent me. And then there's a pocket here with another postcard. This one is from Nairobi, but it says East African Wildlife. Okay, here is my long-necked journaling spot. I ended up gluing him in because he wouldn't stay in the right place. So I just glued the pocket down with him behind it. So there is just a tiny tuck space at the top, but I don't think I'm going to put anything else in there. And I can use... The journaling space right here if I want it hidden or just write all the way down the page and pull it up to see everything. Wallpaper again, cardstock, just a plain, plain tag. Room to add more if I want. And the back cover, in which case I'm going to slide that right there too. And that is it for the giraffe journal. So now. All I have to do is make the spine, bind the signatures in, and then I want to cover the spine with fabric, put something down here. I have choices for fabric. I have the polka dot that Doris just sent me. I have this darker orange. I should actually do it this way with little suns on it. So let me show you this one again with the with the giraffe. Okay, move this over. I have the brown, orange, and yellow. Yellow, green, red, pink, and blue, and white. It doesn't have any orange in it. I have this golden gingham. I have the burlap too. Okay, so I have six choices for fabric color. I think I'm going to take the orange suns out because it's so dark. Uh, a yellow orange background with orange polka dots. This brown with yellow, orange, and tan colored florals and little white stars. This yellow with pink, green, red, blue, white, and yellow gingham check or the burlap. Would you please vote for one of these? I'll put them in my community chat. Last but not least, I had two videos up involving sharing things either to or from Hazel this week. And I let you know that she was very close to reaching a thousand subscribers. When I checked before starting this video, she was only two people away from reaching a thousand subscribers. And I really had hoped when I posted at the beginning of the week that she would reach her thousand subscriber milestone this week while we have one more day. But really, it could happen tonight. <laughs> all right. Thank you to all of you who have checked out her channel, who attended the live sale with her on Thursday while I had to be gone. And 
thanks so much for always being such a big support here in my channel, watching videos, commenting. I love to hear from you. And I love to hear when something triggers a memory for you and you want to share it. I, I absolutely love that. All right. I'll talk to you in the next video. Well, maybe I won't talk to you in the next video because I'm hoping the next video is a silent flip through. <laughs> But we'll let you know which uh, fabric won. Get those votes in. I'm only going to keep it up about 24 hours because I got to get this done. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.